Hey family, I hope you all are doing well. Thank you so much for clicking my video. Today I'm doing a wig show and tell on a wig that was sent to me from I Like Hair. The website link to this wig will be in the description box with other website links that you might be interested in. This is I Like Hair Kinky Edges HD Lace Frontal Ventilated Curly Wig. I have it in the length 20 inches. Here is a close up of the cap construction. It comes with a 13 by 6 HD transparent frontal. Behind the lace frontal, there are three combs, another comb and a nape air with adjustable straps. They also sewed a removable adjustable elastic band on the inside of the wig to help give you an extra secure fit. The wig was made on a stretch fit material. Here are the hooks for the adjustable removable elastic band. The edges on this wig is looking pretty good already. The hair texture feels like it's on the silky side and as for the hair color, it's a natural black. This is how the wig comes straight out of the package. Here is a close up of the edges. I love how the edges look. It's definitely look realistic and the knots do come pre-bleached i do believe the knots come pre-bleached now after you order if i knew the knots came bleached i would have never went in off camera and bleached the knots some more but i did not notice at all but otherwise i love how the hairline looks and i love how the edges isn't too thick on the hairline it looks pretty natural so like I said, I did go in and bleach the knots. I left the bleach on the knots for about 45 minutes. I used BW2 bleaching powder with 40 volume developer and a drop of Adore Rich Eggplant. And I used the Rich Eggplant to help tone the knots so it doesn't come out so brassy. Then I washed the wig with purple shampoo on the knots and regular shampoo on the hair. I also went in with conditioner, washed the wig out and left the wig to air dry overnight. This is how the wig looks the next day and with this wig i decided to do a middle part i'm also going to tint the lace i use the wig gurus uh lace tint in the shade caramel frappe and i spray some of this underneath the lace i would show you guys how i really tint it on camera but when i do the lace tint get on my wall once i go in with the blow dryer but you can see how the lace tint lightly tinted the lace it didn't tint it too dark but just the right amount so now I'm going to go in with my Andes hot comb and just press down the parting space because right now the parting space is giving a lot of hump action. I like hair did a great job plucking the hairline, but I wanted to go in with the tweezers and just pluck right on the hairline, that straight line, and make it a little bit more jagged so you can't really tell where the hairlines start once I install the wig. So now I would like to go in and pluck the hairline just a little bit more, but only the parts that's really dense that's in the hairline, like right there, that little dense part in the front. I just want to pluck it and make it a little bit more jagged. And that's what I did off camera. And this is how it came out. Nothing too major. You don't have to go in and do this. I'm just showing you guys what I did so you guys know how I got my end results. All right, so now I'm about to do something that's totally worth my time, and that is going in with a curling wand. This curling wand that I'm about to go in with is called Zoe. I got it from Marshall's like about a few years ago. 
is a changeable curling wand that come with three wands. It was only $25. Definitely one of the best Marshall purchases I have ever made. So first I go in with my paddle brush and I brush out the hair and I'm doing a small section in the nape area Then I'm going to work my way up to the top. So I take a piece of the hair and then I wrap it around the wand. I leave it on the wand for about five seconds, then let go and pull. And I just keep doing this throughout the whole wig. And I'm not going to show you guys how I curled the whole wig. I'm just showing you guys what I did, like I said before, so y'all know how I got my end result. Every few rows I finish, I go in with the bedhead hardhead spray and spray some of this to set the curls. But if I could go back, I would not go in and spray the curls. So next time I do do the style, I would not set it with the spray because I feel like the spray was kind of making the hair frizzy and setting it back to its natural hair curl pattern. So just saying my opinion. When cutting off the extra lace in the front, I'm going in with eyebrow razors and I'm just taking the razors and I'm cutting right along the hairline carefully in little zigzag motions.
lace come in a nape area as well be sure to cut that now it's time for the wig install i left the wig on the mannequin head overnight and this is how it looks the next day it got really frizzy i also was kind of playing in it so it definitely got a little frizzy but i'm still gonna make it work right there is where i hooked the elastic band i hooked it on the last hook i'm going in with a black stocking cap underneath the wig when I put this wig on my head, I was like, wow, I couldn't believe how realistic it was already looking glueless. I was like, this is giving what it's supposed to give, natural, kinky, realistic edges. To install my wig, I am going in with the Wig Dealer's Melting Spray. And I'm just going to spray one layer of this on top of the lace and go in with the blow dryer and blow dry it until it's completely dry on the warm setting. I only spray down the air tabs up to the temple. I do not have any spray on my forehead, so the forehead is glueless, and so far it's looking pretty good. Now I'm about to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 360 and lightly apply some of this powder on top of the lace to the parting space so it can help the parting space look a little bit more like scalp. All right, you guys, so right here is my end results. Bada boom, bada bang. I don't know what made me want to go in with the curling wand and add some curling wand curls, but I'm really glad that I listened to that voice because I totally love the end results. I don't know, maybe I'm too hype or I'm just not being realistic, but in my opinion, this is giving, this is all my hair. Like you can't tell me nothing. So besides me loving how natural this wig is looking on me, I love how the wig comes. To me, it comes beginner friendly. The hairline comes pre-plucked, the knots come bleached. You don't have to go in and use the curling wand. The curl pattern that comes on this wig is really beautiful as well. This is a virgin hair wig, so if you're not comfortable with the natural black color and you would like to go in and dye it jet black, you definitely can. According to I Like Hair, the hair density on this wig is 180%. That's not too thick, not too thin. The size on this wig, I do believe only comes in one size, which is a medium size. My head circumference is 22 inches and it fits really good, especially with that adjustable elastic band that they inserted on the inside. That really helped kept the wig in place as well. If you are a person with a 23 head inch circumference, then I do believe you are in for the clear with this wig. I do have some stretch cap room left in there. And as for the lace on this wig, I feel like if you was to glue it down, like the lace would melt really, really, really great. But 
I think when I do wear this wig, I probably glue it down one time for the one time. And whenever I do do that, I will come back and show you guys how I do it on camera. But otherwise, I honestly love it. Love, love, love it. I do have to do better with matching the lace with my skin because of winter time, my complexion got lighter. So I need a new foundation color. I need a new lace tint color. I need all of that. But anyway, I totally 100% recommend I love it, love it, love it. Definitely a keeper. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Please hit the thumbs up button if you would try this wig or if you like it or if you just, you know, here to support your girl. So I'll see you guys later and please be safe.